Hi, my name is Philip Sokol, and I'm a pathologist at the Masaryk University. And I'd like to tell you something about this slide. We're looking at the kidney. Here we have multiple glomeruli uh, with a Bowman's capsule. And between the glomeruli we can recognize the tubules. Um, here we have proximal tubules. These are actually distal tubules. And uh, we can also see the blood vessels lined by endothelial cells and filled with erythrocytes. And something is not okay with this kidney. If we look at the glomeruli, we can see the deposition of uh, amorphous pink material, which is amyloid. We are looking at the kidney affected by amyloidosis. And if we want to be sure that this protein is really an amyloid, we can use the special stain called Congo red stain. And the second slide in our set of slides for the practical part of the exam is the kidney stained by Congo red. And we can see an amyloid that affects the glomeruli and it also deposits inside of the wall of the blood vessels. If you use a polarized filter, uh, this amyloid would turn from the red color into green. It is also called apple green. And this phenomenon uh, phenomena is called apple green birefringence. And that is the proof that we are really looking uh, at amyloid and not, uh, not some other protein. We should probably also mention something about amyloidosis in general. So the kidney is usually affected by systemic amyloidosis. We have two types of systemic amyloidosis. The first is primary amyloidosis or AL amyloidosis, where the amyloid is composed of uh, immunoglobulin light chains produced by monoclonal plasma cells in case of plasma cell dyscrasias, for instance, in multiple myeloma. Uh, the second type of <clears throat> systemic amyloidosis is secondary amyloidosis. We can see this type in case of chronic inflammation where the liver produce acute phase reactant called SAA or serum amyloid associated protein, which is then turned into AA amyloid and that amyloid is deposited in multiple tissues in the body. Uh, amyloid in general is composed of beta pleated sheet configuration and therefore it's not easy to get rid of it. And um, <clears throat> in case of uh, malfunction of the organs uh, because of amyloidosis, the only option is actually transplantation. We have also a few types of localized amyloidosis, for instance, uh, in type 2 diabetes mellitus, uh, an anilin um, produced by Langerhans cells can be deposited as amyloid, a beta amyloid in Alzheimer's disease, beta 2 microglobulin in case of dialysis, or in, in patients in dialysis, the medullary carcinoma of the thyroid produce calcitonin, and calcitonin can be deposited as an amyloid. Um, and we also have senile cardiac amyloidosis where the transthyretin uh, forms amyloidosis. So I think uh, this is enough as a brief description of this um, of this illness.